Hi guys, Melissa Brickett Excel with Mel, and uh, if you've watched my other video about Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy, you'll know that um, I have started to master uh, the task of doing the most important things first, getting them done, and then uh, doing the things that, that don't matter as much later, and then saying no to things that just really have no relevance in my life anymore. And and part of that is actually meal planning. Uh, I think a lot of people really struggle with um, getting stuck in the fast food lane, making excuses, uh, very valid excuses for uh, not having the time to prepare healthy meals and, and stay healthy on the road. And as you can see, I'm in my car. I'm a couple minutes early for my appointment. And I do this every day that I have appointments. So four or five days a week, I go out and I see my customers and I need to plan ahead or else I'm going to fast food. And I usually have just a couple of dollars in my, in my purse, not even enough for an icky fast food meal, which part of that helps me, you know, stay out of the fast food lane. But the other thing that I do is I plan ahead. So it's Monday. Uh, on Sunday, I spent some time while the TV was on, you know, the uh, the Cubs game was on, Cubs White Sox game. And uh, I was hanging out with my husband and I was talking on the phone and I was listening to th some things on, on the podcast. And uh, I was staying busy, but I was also being productive. And so what I did is I packed my lunches for the week. And I have this handy dandy cooler from uh, 31. Um, my sister got it for me some time ago and it's a really nice cooler, but any cooler will do. And this one has a front pocket, so it's got some stuff on there. Um, but I got up, but I did my workout first thing. I had four conference calls before I left this morning, so I took a shower before my first conference call. I had back-to-back -back conference calls. Uh, I was getting ready while I was on the calls. I was watching webinars. I had myself on mute. Uh, but then in a few minutes, I put this cooler together. Um, I, of course, I had my Shakeology first thing. So I had... Um, I had chocolate vegan Shakeology. I had half a frozen banana, which of course would, had already been cut up and frozen. I had uh, almond coconut milk in there, which is very low calories and delicious, makes it more creamy than water. Um, I put hemp seeds in there, and then I also put a nice a whole tablespoon of almond butter because good fats are good for you. Uh, and I drank that this morning. It took me 60 seconds to put together in a blender. I drank that during one of my calls and uh, went out and had some of my appointments, but now it's lunchtime and I'm hungry and I'm not gonna be stopping at fast food. And I'm the kind of person who eats, you know, five or six small meals a day, so I actually brought my snacks as well. Um, so what I brought today was I brought my protein. So I have just a nice little small package of uh, protein and then that's already mixed up. I can just eat it with my hands, so super simple. Um, if you saw my recipes from yesterday, I also made a uh, fruit pico de gallo. So this is watermelon and then a bunch of fruit cut up and I have a spoon and I can eat that, not while driving, but I can eat that in my car here today. Um, and that's probably enough for lunch. But if I'm really, really hungry, I also brought another protein carb, which is black beans, quinoa, cut up peppers, um, some cilantro, uh, another really nice, simple meal. And like this, uh, this fruit salad and this uh, quinoa and bean salad, both those made eight servings. So I have tons and tons of these. I just scoop out a cup, put it in my little plastic baggie, and notice I don't have dishes, which is really nice. And then um, I've got a nice little um, ice pack in here to keep everything cool. I've got some napkins in case I spill myself. And then later on this afternoon, I, I am obsessed with these mini peppers. Um, I've got these mini peppers and I can eat those later on this afternoon, maybe around three o'clock. So that keeps me full and, uh, and satisfied all day long, keeps me out of the drive-thru. But the one thing that I was stopping for in the past was coffee. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts has a 99 cent coffee between three and six and every day I was stopping for coffee. And I just stopped that today. So on Saturday, I got the boost, the focused energy boost from uh, Beachbody. And it's just a little scoop and I put it also in my little plastic baggie. And it's supposed to really go in your Shakeology, but I don't need the boost in the morning, I need the boost in the afternoon. So yes, I uh, am going to be drinking diet cranberry juices, like five calories. Um, that's also my cooler so it stays cool. And then this afternoon, I can just pop this in here and drink it. I've tried it like that already this weekend. Works just fine. And it gives me uh, enough caffeine through green tea and ginseng to keep me awake and focused, but it doesn't make me all jittery and crazy. So that's my plan. I'm sticking to it. It works for me. When I get home, I can either make dinner or have leftovers that I've already prepared in advance. So that's how I stay on track. 
um, you know, getting up, workout first thing, drinking my Shakeology, having things prepared on Sunday for the entire week, and then just making it happen. And if you guys need help with meal plans, uh, stuff like this, I am happy to reach out to you and, and talk to you about some specifics for your goals. This is hard because I have to do it in a cooler. Think of all the people that work in the office or the people that maybe are at home with the kids. Um, you can still do all this planning and have it ready and, and available to go for you. So uh, again, I hope this helps. Please feel free to message me or comment below if you have any questions and we'll talk to you soon. Have a healthy day.